that uh, he's more than likely going to come past there and uh, they'll urinate. Um, inside that urine will be a pheromone like a smell, a scent indicating that she's receptive, ready to breed. When he comes past and marks his territory a few days later, he's going to pick up on that scent and he's going to know there's a female nearby that's ready to reproduce and go down and follow her and eventually when he finds her spend some time with her and they wait until she's fully receptive and try and keep her in his territory so he can breed but uh, yeah this is a white run over here and you can see very clearly as he scratches his horn there um, that square lip that flat 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 mouth for um, feeding on grass is a bulk grazing animal Very, very prehistoric. to have a bit of a different angle and be slightly higher than the animals normally he's looking straight uh, looking straight uh, up um, straight line in line with them from the vehicle but look at that mouth how it's operating it's actually quite interesting because I don't see any grass there I just see him and he's chewing away on something Now you can see perfectly how that mouth operates. <clears throat> you can see those lips are quite um, movable, they are quite agile. <clears throat> and he'll use those um, very, very flat lips to you know, mow the lawn as he goes along. Just let his mouth run along the ground surface and pull off the grass and chew it up before it digests. I mean, a big guy like this could probably consume about 60 kilograms in a day. 60 kilograms of grass, as are good grass feeders. That's one of the differences between them and the black rhino. The black rhino, he's got the pointed lip, carries his head up a lot higher, and feeds predominantly on, um, uh, is a browsing animal, so feeds predominantly on leaves and branches and so on. Chewing on some bark there. Hey? <coughs> yeah, no, it looks like uh, I just saw a piece fall out of his mouth now. Looks like he's chewing on a piece of bark that's like um, of a tree that's lying over there, which is quite interesting. It's very interesting if you look at the look at this animal's head, just how bizarre it is. I mean, it's got a very long skull structure, very long head, <clears throat> and those eyes are placed down quite low down on the head. <laughs> Again, looks like he's trying to break for a piece of bark. Very strange behaviour. But by looking at those uh, eyes, how low down they are um, on the head structure. I mean, imagine this animal walking through grass that half a meter tall and he's busy feeding. That grass will totally cover up his eyes. He's not going to see a thing. He's going to have his eyes buried right inside the grass. And that's a very realistic situation. Um, you know, bulk, um, a, a grass feeder, um, that's, as he's walking around feeding, his eyes will be covered up by the grass. But what's very interesting is to look where the ears are placed. His ears are right on top of the head. So although the eyes aren't really used that uh, much, he doesn't have very strong eyesight, 
those ears will be right above the level of the grass and they'll be moving continuously in different directions independently picking up sounds it's almost like big trumpets or fuzz or little satellite dishes um, you just see how they're moving around and he's listening to any sounds that come As you can see, he's still uh, on the scent of the female. Um, this is the path that they actually utilize, and now he's just using his smell to catch up with them. <laughs> 